Hello. Hi. Sorry, I don't know how to work this. Just welcome everybody. We have a lot of people that are getting on, so have some patience in the beginning, please. Okay, I think we've got pretty much a full house right now. So, good evening, everybody. Welcome, City of Lowell, Board of Parks. April 28th, 2021. We're still doing remote. Hopefully, we'll get back to in person soon. So, looks like things are heading that way. So, item number one on the agenda Monument Committee, Councillor Mercia. Welcome. Please unmute yourself when you speak. Thank you very much. You can hear me now? Yes. Okay, good evening and thank you for letting me to be able to speak here this evening, as well as for your dedicated service to the city. Thank you very much. Um, on November 26, 2019, I did make a motion at the city council, um, and I know that it's been a long time ago, but because of the pandemic, it kind of got lost in the shuffle. And I don't believe that I brought it before the board, but the motion said, asked if the manager could allow to have a memorial plaque or a stone or a sign in honor of Michael J. Sully Sullivan in gratitude for his many years of service to the youth of our city uh, and at McPherson's Park in Centerville. I don't know if that's the park that they want to put it, but if they could put some type of a, an honor for this gentleman. I brought this motion forward to honor the many years of service to not only our city, but to the youth in Centerville. He was an active member for many years in the youth sports. Michael coached or served on the board for the St. Michael's Baseball League, the Centerville Baseball League, the Junior League Football, Pop Warner Football, and Lowell Youth Basketball. Sully enjoyed being a baseball empire, officiating at many games. He also served on the Lowell Board of Parks for 19 years. And I thought that he would, um, it would be a fitting tribute to a man that gave so much. And I remember coming before the board and he was faithfully here every time I came. So that's the gist of the motion. And I bring it before you to see if you could support this with a some sort of a remembrance at some place like a park uh, stone or something. Thank you very much. Thank you, Rita. Yes, I know Mike served on this board for many years. I didn't realize it was 19 though. That's a long time. Um, I had an uh, opportunity to speak to his sister, Rosemary, yes. about this thing. And she was saying she, she had not had to, at that time talked to Centerville Baseball to find out what they might be in agreement with or where they could find something. To. Sure. So I, I don't know. I spoke with her over the weekend, so I don't know if she's had a chance to since. Because that would be very helpful if they came on board to find a spot that would be appropriate for Mike. Well, I believe that I spoke to Shannon Cohen and he was saying that he did speak to Rosemary and I thought they thought maybe someplace at Gage Field. So it's in Centerville. So right. some type of a memorial stone. And that's what I'm understanding. If, if it's approved by the board now. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay. Don, through the chair. Yes, please. Um, I agree. Michael was a great guy. He, uh, he was dedicated to uh, Centerville. He was dedicated to the city uh, through his Board of Parks participation. And uh, I'd like to make a motion to approve this request uh, as the uh, Shannon and the DPW sees fit, wherever they can uh, place a marker. That would uh, be great. I'll second that. Do we have further discussion? Shannon, do we have a place in mind, please? Yeah, Don, I met with uh, Rosemary last week. Uh, we found a nice little spot um, outside of Finn Field um, on the peak of the hill uh, facing like the McAuliffe School. Oh, okay. Like over near the dugout area that Rosemary thought would be perfect. 
Great, thank you. Okay, seeing no further discussion, all in favor? Aye. All opposed? Motion carries. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank you very you much, much, gentlemen. Thank you. Item two, Robert Belandra. <laughs> Concession stand at uh, Gage Field, Finn Field. Robert? We'll put him on hold. I'll text him, uh, see if he yeah, can get please. after. Okay. Um, Lillian Hartman? Lillian Hartman? Hmm. Bradley Butinez. Hi, everybody. Thank you, board. Uh, my name is Brad Butenheis, 53 North Dorica Road. I'm here today as the, um, the director of Lowell Litter Crew. We are organizing a, uh, a park cleanup at Eagle Park, and uh, that will be on the, on the morning of uh, May 8th. And then we will be, uh, sorry, May, May 1st, this, uh, this Saturday. Um, and then we're going to be moving over to uh, to Gage Field. Uh, Bob Belanger has offered to share the the parking lot near the concession stand for us to uh, host a, a concert performed by a band called Off Broadway that is uh, members of UMass Lowell's music department. Uh, we're having a little get together. Um, uh, Corey Robinson and his committee will be in attendance there, and um, we're we're going to have a little Centerville day. Sounds like a fun time. I think so. We're inviting anybody to come out, help clean if you want. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna start at Eagle Park and, and get as much done as we can in that area, and uh, and work our way over to the ball fields. I believe that uh, Bob's got some t-ball games going, and so we're gonna have a little music and a and some uh, some young entertainment as well, watching the games. Okay. So you you coordinating this with uh, the baseball people up there, correct? Yes, Bob. Bob has Bob. offered us uh, the parking lot as, and um, you know, just so you know, the cleanup is uh, supported by our special guests, uh, Tom Golden and Vanna Howard, who are um, contributing some some uh, supplies for the uh, uh, some mulch, so we can uh, we can neaten up some of the fields, uh, the the islands around there, around the basketball court, and uh, Mill City Grows will also be in attendance to um, get their get their gardens started for the year. And I'm sure Shannon will appreciate that help. Yes, I do. Hi, yes. Shannon. All right. Anyone have any questions? No, I'll make a motion to accept the time and date, the no fee. I'll second it. Okay. Further discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Motion carries. You're all set. So that's May 1st. Is that correct? That is correct. Yes. All right. Well, good luck and hope you have great weather. Thanks. Music starts at 12. Hopefully we see everybody out there. Have a good night. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Patel, Patel, Mr. Patel. Allison Hughes. Allison Hughes. Good evening. Hi. Hi. Welcome. Thank you. Um, my name is Allison Hughes. I'm here with Jean d'Arc Credit Union tonight. And um, on this call with me is Pete Brock and Taylor O'Neill from the Patriot Alumni Associate uh, Club. And each year, the New England Patriots Alumni Club hosts a football for you camp here in Lowell. Uh, obviously last year, they weren't un were unable to do it due to COVID. And in the past, it's been held at the UMass Lowell Fields um, over by Costello. But this year we would like to bring it to the other side of the river and to the uh, Holly Field Complex. So when I originally signed up for this meeting, we didn't have some firm dates with the Patriots yet. So I, I'd put in July 16th, but that date actually um, doesn't work with the Alumni Association right now anymore. So we're open to another date um, if there's one that's available. So with that, I'll introduce Pete Brock and he can tell you a little bit more about football for you. Okay, thank you. Good evening and thanks for uh, having us in front of the board. We appeared here over six years ago when we first uh, brought football for you to, to Lowell. We're in 23 different communities all throughout New England with this camp program. It's free for kids. Uh, we don't charge the community. We don't charge the parents. 
Um, we get our own funding from, from sponsors like Jean d'Arc Credit Union and from other uh, foundation grants uh, to be able to bring the benefits of team sports, i.e. football, uh, out in the community. We bring no less than six alumni to each one of these camps. The kids get an opportunity to interact with former players, and uh, we have a hoot. We, uh, it, it, it really is a lot of fun, and I'm very excited to continue this relationship uh, in Lowell uh, with the partnership with Jean d'Arc Credit Union. So, and, and coming off COVID, and we weren't able to do it uh, last year in 2020, uh, and, and still uh, trying to understand all of the, uh, the guidelines and restrictions that we're going to face. And I'm just holding hope that July looks different than April, although with the announcements from the Commonwealth yesterday, it looks like we're gonna be able to be fairly normal with this, uh, with this camp. So at this point, it's just a matter of finding a where and a, and a when uh, in Lowell. And we're hoping that we can find a date available that works with our schedule. Okay. Are you yourself an alumni, Mr. Burke? I am, yes, sir. I thought so. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> um, Bianca, do we have awareness of what might be available to meet their needs? Um, what day were you, you guys looking for? I can definitely check it out. Well, we could certainly um, take this offline. And Bianca, I could send you dates that we have already con confirmed camps that we couldn't do. And we could lay that over your camp, your uh, uh, college stadium availability and probably come up with something. Okay, yeah, we can do that. All right. Well, I can give you um, my contact information um, if you'd like. Sure. My email address is don't anybody else email me either. So <laughs> I don't get I don't get free tickets to football games and kind of boring since Tom Brady went to Tampa Bay anyway. But Bianca, my my email address is my initial P last name Brock B R O C K at patriotsalumni.com. Got it. And I'll respond back to any email you send me and then um, we'll, we'll get something on the calendar. Allison, I'll include you. I'll copy you on all that. And same with Taylor O'Neill is uh, on the call here with us today. And she's, she's our program coordinator with, uh, with these camps. So I want to include both of them. Welcome, Taylor. Thank you. And Bianca, I ended up just sending you uh, Pete's email address in the chat too. Oh, okay. Thank you. I and, guess, um, I, if, I guess I, if that was that smart, I'd have done that too. And not, so good. not everybody in Lowell will have my email address. Uh, and as far as any fees, um, Jean Dark Credit Union would be happy to cover those with the city and we can work out any paperwork. And Jean Dark is completely committed to this camp. We promote it through our social media, through our marketing department, and do everything we can to work with the local boys and girls club and the Y and other football organizations to get the kids there. Um, and in the past, again, we won't know with COVID this year, there's been collaboration with Domino's pizza. We, they feed the kids some breakfast and lunch this year. We're not sure if that's available, but it's a great program and it's been well attended in Lowell for years. So we're really excited to bring it to Collie stadium. Glad you continue to do it and bring it to the youth of Lowell. It's very exciting uh, for, the, for the kids. John? Yes, Peter. Uh, just for clarification, the, the original permit asked for Machado, and yet uh, a couple of times we've referenced Cauley. Um, Is Machado part of Cauley Complex? Well, it's part of the complex, but it's different fields. that get. It's a different permit. There are multiple um, fields there. As long as it's a football field that can host the camp and it's you know, there's parking available. I don't, I think when I was on their, your website, I, I don't know that complex that well. So I was looking for something that said football field. Okay. Um, Machado is a football field in name. It has goalposts that go probably back to the sixties. Uh, whereas Cauley is a brand new turf field, you know, as state of the art as you're going to get in Lowell. Well, it'd be an opportunity for the city of Lowell to show off if we, if we could get on that field at Collie a little bit too. So we could showcase we could showcase parks is what I'm saying. Okay. And hopefully if if the stadium itself is available, it would be a show place place for you. And like you said, you're gonna coordinate that through Bianca to find out what date and what is available. 
Yes, perfect. So if we can find a date at, at actual Collie that's available, um, can we just change that permit and anything that I need to fill out on my end? Is that okay, Bianca? Okay. Hopefully we can do that. I think the board can vote to go ahead with this depending on which field that you pick so we can sure up the, the application, you know, for the okay. date. All right. And the fee would That's be nominal depending on which one you pick, so. That's fine. Okay. Actually, quick question, John, actually really for Shannon. Did, they normally do them during the week in which it's staffed. Is that accurate? Your probably is staffed. Yes, my second shift guy uh, started uh, two weeks ago, so I am staffed from uh, six thirty to uh, nine thirty at night now. So if they're doing it during those times, we wouldn't have to add in a custodial fee. It's already sort of baked in. Correct. Got it. Save you some money. There you go. Thank you. I could have the kids pick it up too after the camp. <laughs> <laughs> I'll make a motion to approve uh, the event subject to availability of Collie for no fee. I'll second that. Further discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? Motion carries, you're all set. Go forward. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you question. all very much. Peter, we'll what you know when it is, we would love to see you out there. Peter, what number were you? <laughs> number 58. 58, I was a draft pick in 1976 and played through 1988. I'm very familiar with Steve Grogan because I was his center. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. Anyway, thank you all very much. All right. Thank Thanks, you. Guys. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. All right. Good night. Shannon Tavares. Shannon Tavares. Hello. <laughs> Welcome. Hi. Hi. Um, just uh, wanting to use Shed Park on June 6th from 1 to 5 for a uh, private event. Okay. Uh, it says baby shower here. Is that correct? Yep. Okay. And the fee for that um, is $170. Yep. And that's standard fee for there. What type of um, things would we be doing? We're not. Cooking isn't allowed with propane, but with charcoal it is, and I don't know what your other needs may be as well. Um, there's definitely no cooking. Uh, we'll have everything prepared. Um, it's not even going to be catered like family, family friends. Thing. Um, we're just going to have tables, chairs uh, brought in. Very simple. <laughs> okay. All right. We never know. <laughs> we ask <the> question. <laughs> Do you need anything from us? Um, just anything that is not permitted on grounds for Shed Park. That's a leading question. But yeah. No. Like, no, but you said propane, you... but um, do you guys have any other big restrictions? No, not really. As long as everything was in reason and running a baby shower, you're not going to probably get out of hand or anything. So, okay. No. <laughs> No big mash pit parties, you know, things like that. So yeah. Not allowed. Okay. Hey, I, John, I make a motion uh, to approve the request uh, for a fee of $170. I'll second it. Further discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Motion carries. You're all set, Shannon. Good luck. Thank you. You're welcome. Matthew Light. Matthew Light. Hello, how are you? Good, good evening, welcome. Thank you. Um, I was just uh, reaching out. I had some dates that I put on the calendar um, for Carvalho Field for, for September. I'd like to um, cancel those reservations or attempted reservations and then also uh, bring up to the board um, and request a refund for two dates in which I was permitted and paid for, but had the permits pulled from me. Okay. All right. Um, all right. Sounds like there's a two step, two things you're asking for. Is that correct, Matt? Yes, sir. All right. Take me through each one separately, please. All right. We'll go with the uh, the the refund at, at first. Um, I have his permitted uh, Carvalho Field for five dates, um, and I paid the first two dates online and okay. 
I was uh, informed uh, two days before the first date that I'd been bumped off the field okay. um, for all of my dates, all five. All right. So I had only paid for the first two um, to the tune of uh, $351.90. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm hoping I'm looking to get a refund on on those on that payment for those two dates that I wasn't allowed to use. Okay, all right. John. Yes, Peter. Um, what I understand is we could un refund the gentleman uh, in total, uh, but it is a little cumbersome and it takes a while. Or if the board approved this, we could um, hold the money for the future requests if they're approved and just apply the funds towards those requests. Um, do you have a problem with that? No. I prefer the refund, sir. Um, with all due respect is because we, everything's on, on a schedule per leagues and I, I, I have no idea of knowing if we'd ever need to rent a field again. So. Okay. okay, that's fair. Um, I, I make a motion to refund the gentleman is uh, the fees that were paid. I'll second that. Further discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Motion carries. You're all set on that one, Matt. Like you said, it does take a process to go through the city. So hopefully they'll get it out to you as soon as possible. Sure thing. Um, and your second second item, sir, was? Yeah, the second matter was I, I was uh, reserved some dates at Cavarolo Field. I could probably take this out with Bianca um, and just cancel them. But I reserved them for September. I think it was a total of 10 dates. Um, so I'll just go ahead and remove those off the schedule and, and clear that reservation. Okay. All right. I'm not sure we need a motion on that, although we um, always well, include one. To make it uh, official, I will make a motion to uh, table those dates uh, upon further review. I'll second it. Further discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Motion carries. You're all set, sir. All right, thank you. All right, thank you. I'm sorry that you got bumped. <laughs> it happens. Yes. Okay. All right, up next, Rui Mello. Rui Mello. Um, he said he wasn't coming. He's not coming? Okay, yeah. so we'll table that one. Charlie Huggins, Charlie Huggins, yep. please. Yep. Thank you guys for having me. I'm here on behalf of Spinner Softball. Uh, we okay. have requested some dates at McPherson Park for practices on Saturdays and Sundays, uh, May 1 and 2, May 15 and 16, and 22 and 23. And those coincide with um, Gil Vigent has some dates already uh, booked for, uh, that's why we didn't ask for the ones that, he already has clearly we're not in you know the business to um get in gill's way either so um we're just looking to be able to get the girls out um with covid issues and things like that we've had a hard time finding fields and that kind of suits everything that we're trying to do um i've also been instructed to bring to the board um the option of um softball and baseball clinics as many as the city would like us to do, we're willing to do um, to help. Uh, maybe we would love to have a collaboration between our organization and the city. We have 111 girls in the program. Mm -hmm. 87 of them are from either Lowell or Drakeen. Uh, we do have some outliers, a couple Southern New Hampshire, but uh, most of the girls are from the Merrimack Valley area. So they're very familiar with the area they've grown up there and have played through the program through the system so what we would love to do is we really do see the spinners softball and baseball organizations as uh, an outlet for the youth of Lowell to learn the game from players that have been there and done that um, we have a couple of college girl um, coach we have uh, girls that have played in college that are coaches with the organization Mark DeShanes, who owns the organization, 
uh, grew up in Drake, it, um, played in the major leagues, minor leagues, um, and we have 11 different baseball coaches that have some sort of professional baseball experience. So that's great. Um, you know, so we would love to be able to um, really realistically almost have McPherson as the, the home base of, uh, of the spinners. Um, Mark is prepared to provide wind screens for the backstops, if that would that, help. Before um, you go on, Joe, I hate to cut you off on this, but that is something that is not our purview. Okay, okay. That's something that has to be worked out. It sounds like you have a great plan and you have to work that out with the city. You have to work that out with, uh, with, with Mr. Fatacanti and his organization as to what can be offered and where. Sure. Okay, sure. we issued permits for people that want to use it. The collaboration, we don't get involved in it. No, no. Um, so we, we wouldn't be looking for use of the bathrooms or anything. It would just be uh, for, for practices um, from nine to one on Saturdays and Sundays, and that will cover all of the teams. Uh, what are you playing there? Softball or baseball? It would be softball and then 12 U and under baseball. So there'd be nobody, there would not be, uh, as far as the boys go, um, it would not be, they, they, they're too, anything over 12 U. 12 and on anything over 12 years old would be too big for those fields. Uh, and it wouldn't be, it would be dangerous for everybody involved. So okay. uh, we do understand if they don't want baseball on the field, we, we get that um, softball, they are softball fields, but at, mm -hmm. at one point they were baseball fields. I actually grew up playing there. So with, with Mike Sullivan actually was my coach. Uh, wow. So I, you know, so that's near and dear to me as well. So uh, I, I would love to, like I said, just get back on those fields and get the girls out there and, and get them. Moving. Okay. All right. I questions. Um, yeah, what, John, for the chair, I got that question. Yes, Tom. This is the organization I called you at the beginning of the month that snuck in a tournament down there. And they had, they had baseball teams down there. They trashed the field. They left a portable uh, pitcher's mound down there, and I think it's still down there. It was that they left it in a dugout. It was all beat up. And I don't know why he doesn't want the uh, bathrooms open because two weeks ago or three weeks when they had their tournament up there, they were urinating between the two the storage containers and everything, and they were complaining they couldn't use the bathroom. They, they, they complained that the guild wouldn't let them use the bathroom. And that wasn't, a, that wasn't a problem. The problem was Shannon did not okay that field yet. There was no running water in the facility. So he couldn't open up the bathrooms. As far as so, that tournament goes, I, I was not privy to that. I did not. It wasn't a clinic. It wasn't a clinic, Jolly. This was a tournament. No, no, I know. They were using all three fields. They had teams in Drakeit. They had teams in Lowell. And you had no permits for them. What, what, I, what I was told, because um, I had gone down there on sa that Saturday morning, I saw two spinners teams on Farley Field. Uh, and that was all that I had, that, that was all that I saw. So anything that happened other than that, I did not know about. I did hear about the issue with the bathrooms. I reached out to Mark right away. Uh, he said that nobody had actually, that nobody from the spinners had talked to Gil that he knew of. And so I tried to dig a little bit deeper onto that uh, and never really got an answer. So I, if it was, if it was somebody from the spinners that talked to Gil, um, I think I would have, I, I could have got that answer, but it may have been a different parent or a different coach. Nobody talked to Gil. Nobody talked to Dr. Gill about using the, the uh, facilities. I, I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. What? Nobody talked to Gill about the facilities. Okay, about the bathroom. Yeah. Right. But my thing is going between the two storage containers. Well, I think one of the coaches even told a spectator, because I was standing right there, because I got three calls about the baseball being played down there. You see, I, I, and I went And I went down there. To, I just wanted to see who was playing because I thought it. I was hoping when I went down, it was a son of them because they do go down there and play baseball once in a while, but it wasn't. It was your organization. It was your teams in all three fields. And, and I would be willing, more than willing, to, you know, table baseball going there or setting it up so that it's – I didn't realize it was going to be a tournament of any type. I was told that it would be practices. Uh, so if – First of all, Charlie, practices on a field without having a permit on it which had not been released by the city, city. 
And that's, we try to protect the fields. Sure. People Absolutely. that get on them before they're permitted on them. Yep. They that have no be. right to be on it. They have to come to yep. us. And if the worst spinners teams under your organization, unfortunately, you're responsible for them. And if, if there was a mess left, um, I'm embarrassed to even have this conversation. It should not be. Uh, it's, been, so. been, it's been made abundantly clear to everybody that steps foot on any field that we ever use to leave it cleaner than when you got there. Uh, and, and that's not, that's not us. So I, I, I am embarrassed to, to have this conversation, but I, I would be, to be honest, I, I'm, I'm more concerned with the softball at, at this point. Um, uh, you know, and it, it practices there an hour and a half to the girls don't need to use their bathrooms or anything like well, that. I understood yeah. the one thing with kids using bathrooms and everything. Yeah. My main concern is nobody from your organization who obviously played there wanted to come up and admit to this thing happening. Sure. Yeah. And that, okay, so, so there was a total lack of communication between you and the teams that played there. Okay. So unfortunately, you're held responsible for that. Sure. No, I get that. They were down there misusing the field in, in, uh, I mean, some what the things they would do. Um, if it was me, I mean, I, I would recommend that you do not get any payments down. Okay. Okay. Because those are fields that should have been treated with respect. Sure. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. And that, I mean, that's for, for me moving forward. You know, that's ultimately how it will be treated, and it should have been that way the first time. Um, and again, I'm embarrassed that that it happened, um, but. Um, for, for, for us as a, as a softball organization, I can, I can tell, I, I head the softball organization. I do not head the baseball side of things. I can tell you that that will not happen with softball. It just, it just won't, you know? So, um, but, and after we're done, after I get off this call, I can absolutely 100% promise you it will not happen with baseball either because there will be a come to Jesus meeting with those guys and it will be straightened out real quick. So John. Yes, Peter. Um, to use a baseball phrase, uh, this gentleman has already got three strikes against them. They uh, access the fields without permits. They put baseball on the fields and they trash the fields. And furthermore, he did not own up to this until he got called on it. I, I couldn't mean, own up to anything if I didn't, I didn't know about it. You knew that it was coming. Um, I make a motion to deny all requests. I'll second that. What? Further discussion? I'd actually like to add one more thing. <clears throat> um, you know, obviously, I know a lot of these organizations and, you know, baseball, softball, I get it. I don't, I wasn't there. Mr. Contour obviously was there to um, see this, so I can't really speak firsthand. Um, what I can say is that this is the first, you know, organization, AAU organization, that's actually really tried to put in for permits and not jump onto youth fields. Obviously, you know, I've, I've seen it firsthand where, you know, permits are put in for youth organizations, some that didn't even use the fields last year for their own organization, but did AAU used it. Um, yes, McPherson is obviously very visible, you know, so you're not just going to happen to drive by and not see anything. You know, I wasn't aware that it was a big tournament either. Obviously, that's you know, news to me right now as well. Um, but I know that, you know, they are a good organization. I know that, you know, based on this conversation, it's not, doesn't look great. Um, but I'm, you know, I wouldn't vote to deny all permits. I mean, if, if you wanted to deny this one, that's fine. I just, I could, couldn't support denying it. Okay. All right. Anyone else have a comment? I mean, I know it's tough when we have youth and people organize it, but there are other people that believe that they have a right to do what they want when they want, and they can't. There is a process in place that has to be followed by everybody. And when that process breaks down, everybody suffers. Uh, and we and we completely understand that, and, and okay. you will obviously clearly. Well, obvious, obvious, obviously, Charlie, some members of your organization did not understand. No, and that's, that's it's sad. And they, and they should have. And unfortunately, it reflects on you. Yeah. I know. When I had something, if the people below me make a mess, it's my responsibility and I should have known, so I take the heat. And that's just the way it follows. I'm not saying you're responsible for it, but members of your organization did, mm -hmm. and they should have known better. Okay. And for anybody to even get to those fields the first time, knew that they were available and something went on them is total disrespect for the policy of the city. So it's, okay. I hate to punish the children. Nope, I guess some adults decide not to not to follow rules. 
But if the children see the adults not following rules, they believe they don't have to either. So it's Absolutely. a tough situation. Absolutely. Okay, further discussion? Okay, the motion on the table. Okay, all in favor of the motion? Aye. Not issue a Aye. permit? Okay. What's the all motion again, John? To deny the to permit. To deny the permit. Aye. Okay, all opposed? Opposed. Be opposed as well. Be opposed. So we have two and two. All right. But it comes down to me. It's a tiebreaker. Okay. Um, I'm a. I'm in favor of the motion. In denying the permits, group uh, not treating the field in the city the way they know, especially with people that were around that should have known what the situation was, or at least a telephone call to straighten things out in the beginning. And then owning up to the situation would have been very helpful in preventing this. So. So uh, motion passes three to two. All right, permits are denied. Thank you. All right, thank you, sir. Stay safe. All right. Okay, Susan Britton, Farmers Market. Susan Britton? Yeah, hello. Welcome. Yeah. We're losing you, Susan. Unmute, please. Unmute, please. Hello? 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 Yes, I can hear you now. <laughs> Sorry. That's okay. Technical difficulties. I am having a lot of feedback. You have something else that's near you that is open? My can phone? Can you hear me now? Yes. You might want to knock off and come back on. We can try that. Then we'll get right to you as you come back on. I'm going to try something different. Okay. How's that? Sounds good yeah. to me. Okay. <laughs> Sorry right, about that. I'm going to get this out good. quick before I lose power. Okay. Um, I'm Susan Britton with Community Teamwork. And I am here. First, I want to thank you for allowing me to come before the board with a request again. Um, okay. We are here requesting the use of Lucy Lockham Park for the farmer's market. Um, we are looking at July 9th to October 22nd, every Friday, uh, from 10 to six, the market will be held 11 to five due to COVID this year to be very unusual. Um, we did not really have a full market last year because of COVID and all the restrictions. We had maybe one farmer out there, sometimes two farmers. Mm -hmm. This year, we're looking at opening up in July with probably just four farmers. And then we're going to see what happens with that, see what the restrictions are going forward. And maybe as the summer and the fall passes, we might open it up to a few more vendors. But we are requesting to, to start that um, July 9th, I believe, is the, the first Friday. Okay. Okay. And how many years we've been running the farmer's market down there? halfway through we had some issues and we resolved them so since then it's been great 
Thank yeah. you. Okay. We have kept everybody, once they come in, drop everything off, there's no vehicles moving at all through there. And that's what we want too for safety purposes. I mean, we don't want people moving around, especially when we have large volumes of people. I mean, I think this year it's gonna be pretty light. What we really want is to focus on getting those fruits and vegetables out to the community more than anything else. Thank you, Susan. Oh, no. okay. All right. Looking for a motion here, please. Could I also? I'm not. I can't hear you. I, I'd oh. also like to request that we waive the fee if that's possible, due to the fact that it's that better? community service that we're. Okay, I need a board member to make a motion. I'll make a motion. I'll make a motion to approve the dates and time requested with a no fee. I'll second it. Further discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? Motion carries. You're all set, Susan. Thank you very much. And I apologize for my technical difficulties over here. <laughs> I had him getting on myself earlier, so <laughs> accepted. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Tara Levine, Boys and Girls Club. Tara Levine. Hi there, Tara from the Boys and Girls Club. Um, I am hey, here Ron. to request Clemente Park for club spring and summer programming. So the dates for spring are May 3rd through July 2nd. Um, it would be from 3 to 8 p.m. And then again, from July 5th through August 31st from 9 to 5 p.m. Okay. John, I make a motion to approve the request, no fee. Sounds I'll good. second that. All righty. Anything special in need, Tara? Nope, I think that's it. Thank you so much. Oh, you're welcome. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Motion carries. You're all set. Good luck. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Becky Roman. Becky Roman. Hi. God bless everyone. God bless you. Welcome. What can we do for you, Reverend? Um, I I do every year. Every year, I um use the park, um the common. Come on, um, oh, what is it called? The, the parkway is on Flexure. Okay. Um, we use that every year. Um, we've been using it. I know last year, um, because of the pandemic, um, we had to um, cancel a few of the services and our church was closed, so we use that park only sometimes. Um, last year, they charged us almost a um, thousand dollars. So we're trying to um, have the park um, to use it this year again. Okay. But we're gonna use it on Tuesdays from um, six thirty to eight thirty. Okay, and that's just the open space that you're utilizing there. Yeah, that um, is the, they have like a, a stand there. The little lamp is there. Right. Yeah. We usually, um, we only give waters like, um, and we pick up after the mess. Before we do the service, sometimes we go in clean because I know um, we see a lot of people hang there and, and sometimes there's garbage everywhere. Um, we usually clean before we go and um, sometimes we give pizza to the audience if they hear in the service, um, but we order it and we give it to them for them to take. Um, we don't do nothing of cookout or, you know, we don't put no grill, nothing. We don't use nothing of that. We just preach. Just preach, just preach the word of God. Yes. Okay. You don't need anything from us, just the open space. So yes, hopefully we can have no fee on this one. Any board members' questions or concerns? I'll make a motion to approve the dates and time requested with no fee. 
I'll second it. Further discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Motion carries. You're all set, Reverend. Thank you. Have a nice um, night. God bless you. Thank you. Paul Brault. Paul Brault. I thought I saw you here somewhere. Yep, right here. Um, Welcome. How you doing? Thanks for having me. Uh, last year, we were approved to have a car show on the uh, regatta field. Right. Uh, obviously, it was it was canceled, mm -hmm. <laughs> like everything. Uh, we're looking to have it this year, okay. uh, June twelfth. It's a Saturday. All right. Um, we would we would uh, start around eight o'clock in the morning, just setting up, and the cars would start coming in around nine, and we typically finish up around two. Uh, we might shorten it a little this year if people don't feel comfortable um, hanging for five hours, you know, but um, we'll uh, follow all the rules, uh, the COVID rules. Uh, we're fully insured. We've done this for 40 years or so. Um, we're looking to, I'm, look, I grew up in Lowell. I was born in Lowell. Um, we want to bring something there. Uh, okay. I think it's a great venue. Um, it's a one day event, obviously, and uh, we're looking for your approval. Okay. Um, I paid for it last year. Um, I don't know if it's still on file or, or, or what, but um, for the event, I, I had paid it in full. Um, so you believe you have a credit with us, Paul? I believe so, yes. Okay. It's not a lot of money anyway. I don't, I don't know, it's a hundred bucks or something like that. Yeah. Whatever it was, uh, if I need to add to that, I'm, I'm willing to do that. Uh, we, we give our money to charity, uh, the profits. This year, it's uh, uh, Forever Young. It's a suicide uh, prevention. Um, a couple of my friends are really involved in that. Mm -hmm. And they're my fundraiser for the year. Okay. Um, I'm looking for your approval. Uh, we clean up after ourselves. We're pretty, uh, pretty good at it. We've done a lot of them. We run about six shows a year. John? Yes, Peter. I'd like to make a motion to approve the uh, request and to apply last year's credit towards this year's bill. Okay. I'll second it. Any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? Motion carries. Thank you, good luck, Paul. Thank you. Um, as far as the insurance papers, Bianca, do you want me to get you that information? You can email it to me. Okay, thank you. You're Everybody. welcome. Be safe. Thank you again. You're welcome. Meg Kelly, Lowell Cultural Council. Hi there. Hi. Where are uh, you? Okay, there you are. Welcome. Over here. Hello. Hi. Hi, uh, I'm Meg Kelly. I work for BRM Production Management. Uh, many of you probably know our owner, Bianca Moro. I'm here on behalf of LCC for the arts markets that we're hoping to run at Lucy Larkham Park on May 15th. Okay. And what exactly is an arts market, may I ask? Yeah, uh, it's going to be about like, I think right now we have 37 local artists, like painters, sculptors, those types of folks, and they are gonna bring their own table, bring their own tent and set up. We have room to have, I think we could have fit like 60 artists 10 feet <coughs> apart. So we have plenty of space to be socially distanced and um, people are just gonna come in and hopefully support the local artists. So we can buy some Picassos? Absolutely. Thank you. <laughs> I wanna make sure I go to that. Yes. So that's May, May 15th, correct? Correct. Okay, all right. Questions or concerns? I'll make a motion to accept the time and date for no fee. Second it. Further discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 All, all opposed? Motion carries. All right, thank you're all you. set. Thank you. All right, thank you. Yarama Agosto. Hi, how are you? Good. Hopefully, I. Pronounced it a little bit correct. Nope, you did. <laughs> okay, okay, thank you. Okay, baby shower, shed pavilion, June 26th. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. What do you need from us? Um, 
nothing um, everything will be provided um by us um we did want to know if the bathroom will be available for use yes there's a fee associated with it and with that fee it, the bathrooms yeah. will be open we need the okay um we'll definitely need the bathrooms okay um everything food will be prepared already so we won't be cooking there at all okay. um and it's just family oriented just from two to six um um i did have a question if we were able to set up early for the baby shower um if approved um if that was available um you have two to six and you could get there a little bit beforehand i don't know if anybody else what happened when two to six you're reserving your space for that time i mean if okay. you wanted to set up an hour early you'd have to reserve another section of time and i'm not sure you may want to pay the fee on that associated with no. it so. okay but if nope, you get there and there's nobody there by all means you can set up okay perfect right. so the fee for that's 170. 170 okay perfect yes. okay and that would be the fee for the bathroom that includes the bathrooms as well yes oh. okay that'll be all yeah, the questions i have all right John, I make a motion to approve the request fee of uh, 170. Second I'll second it. it. Further discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Motion carries. You're all set. Good luck. Thank you. Have a good evening. Same to you. Anna Jabba Omenyeni. Hello, sir. Hi, welcome. Thank you. I am here as a representative of Youth Build. We are part of community teamwork. And uh, we did this a couple years ago. We hosted a field day for our students, a barbecue. Um, we had kickball on the baseball field. Um, we had a little mini three on three basketball tournament with our students. So it's just a field day, a fun day for our kids um, to be out there. Uh, last time we did it, we rented a, uh, a grill that was delivered and picked up from the space. Um, so we just do like hot dogs and hamburgers for the kids. Um, so we're hoping, we were hoping for May 14th originally. We had some um, changes in our schedule and I didn't know, I couldn't tell from the website today if any other Fridays were available in May, if the 21st or the 28th were available, um, we may need to switch our actual date. And I can speak to you directly on the phone, Bianca, if that helps. Um, but we're hoping that we would be approved to host our students out there. We'll probably have about 25 kids, um, five to seven staff members, um, we would arrive at Shed Park about 10 a.m. and we would be done by two. I, I would hope that Fridays being a school event that they would be available to you. So you can work okay. that out through Bianca what might okay, be. Okay, thank you. So the 14th is, you do not want the 14th? We can't do the 14th. Okay. We have some other things happening that we have to move the date. Okay. So we can approve it contingent on picking either the 21st or the 28th. Thank you. They might be available. Thank you. Okay. Questions or concerns from the board? I need a motion, please. I'll make a motion to approve an available date for no fee. Thank you. Second it. Further discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Motion carries. You're all set. Good luck. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Tanisha Cruz. Tanisha Cruz, please. Birthday party. Tanisha Cruz. Put it on hold. That one's coming up. Patricia Adams, please. Patricia Adams. I'm right here. Welcome. Welcome. How are you? I'm good. Thank you. Okay. Um, so I am representing 
Um, Lowell High School, actually, just the freshman academy, we were looking to um, have a yoga class on Sunday, May 16th. We normally have some events just to promote mental health and kind of getting together, which is obviously hard as teachers because we can't really meet in person in groups. So we were thinking of trying to do a yoga class outside. So I have an official yoga instructor that I know for the class. And I had mentioned maybe renting the pavilion just in case there was rain, because we could put yoga mats under there, uh, maybe set up a table with water. Um, but that's it, pretty simple. And it was Sunday, May 16th. Sounds like a great idea. Yeah, I'm trying. <laughs> I'm trying to do anything. So get people together and just have a yoga class. So you have to think outside of the box now. Uh, yeah, I, I know. I know. We're trying. <laughs> okay. Any questions or concerns? Oh, actually, my only other question is yeah. are the I keep hearing about bathrooms. Are the bathrooms open? Would they be open on a Sunday? Would we have to pay for that? I didn't even think about it oh. until I heard it mentioned. It's connected with a low high event through okay. shared maintenance of effort. I don't know. I'd have to speak with Shannon on that to see whether okay. that was covered. If this was not, then there would be a fee associated with it. Okay. Uh, so yeah. So, and we cover low high uh, every day of the week. No, no fee. So okay. I, I appreciate that. I appreciate right. that. We're trying to keep it as low as possible, obviously. So I appreciate that. Thank you, Shannon. You're welcome, John. John. Yes, and I, and I understand that this is just a backup plan, this um, using the pavilion. Yes. Yeah. So if it's so and, and to be honest with you, my idea is that it's outside on a grass area at Shed Park. That That's the plan. Mm -hmm. But in my head, I was thinking, well, if it's cloudy or raining, we can put the yoga mats under the pavilion. I know we have to distance ourselves. We know what the protocol is for that with the spacing. The yoga instructor I have knows all of that. Um, She's, we have events um, in Pelham all the time out on the green. So the spacing part we know. Um, and if we had the green space and it was nice out, which is the plan, we may put a table in the pavilion just for some water for people if they, you know what I mean? That would probably be it. So that was the only reason. Okay. Thanks. Yeah. Okay, I make a motion to approve the request, no fee. Second it. Second it. Further discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Motion carries. You're all set, Patty. Have Thank some fun. Thank you very much. Thanks. You're welcome. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <sighs> okay. Long agenda tonight. Okay. Brian, can we hold you off till the end, please? Sure can. All right. Thank you, sir. Okay. <clears throat> Stanya Jean Baptiste. Tanya Jean Baptiste. Nicole D'Souza. Nicole D'Souza, please. Well, that's how you get through the agenda. <laughs> yes, I know. All right. Now you just jinxed us. All right. Joy Sirota. Yes, I'm right here. Welcome. Welcome. I'm here representing the Pine Arts School. We have two permits, um, one for the 11th and one for June 14th and one June 11th, just to hold a field day at the Stratum Park, which is, I guess, Donahue Park and Stratum Street. Okay. It's behind our school. And we're just going to take the sixth and seventh graders be one day and the eighth graders. Okay. Same as usual. Same as usual. <laughs> yep. John, I make a motion that we approve the request. No fee. I'll second it. I'll second it. Both, both items, 29 and uh, 20, 23, 29 is on there as well. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Yeah. They were June 11th and June 14th, right? Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. You're all set, Joy. Have some All right, time. thank you very much. You're thank welcome. you. Okay. Becca Lopez, Becca Lopez, please. Melinda Perry, Melinda Perry, hey, please. Hello? Yes. Hi. There you are. Okay, I got gotcha. you. Yeah. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. I'm Melinda Perry. I'm here representing the ACE Center on Merrimack Street. 
uh, we do a lot of work with uh, the Center for New Americans. So we do a lot of work with immigrants and refugees, with advocacy, celebration, and empowerment. June 20th is World Refugee Day um, with the United Nations, and we would like to um, gather some people and uh, allow some of the refugees living in Lowell to tell their stories about how they came to the U.S. Um, and how Lowell has welcomed them. Um, also have a couple of cultural performances in order to keep the number of people down we're going to do this we're going to be streaming this as well so that some people will be at home watching rather than at you know at the park just to keep numbers down um we the food we'd just be doing cold ethnic food so there'd be no cooking involved uh handing out the cold food and drinks uh, so we would like permission to use uh, the stage at the North Common Park. Um, and we're also wondering if there's electricity there or if we would need to bring a generator of some sort for the sound of it. There is electricity there. I'm not sure if it is working. I'll check with Shannon. He just came back. Shannon, do we have power at the North Common stage? Uh, there's power there. It should be working. I can't promise anything if, if it isn't, but it should be working. Okay. You might want to check that out beforehand, Melinda. We, we will. We'll take okay. some of that and plug it in and see if it runs. Right. Ho hopefully it will. Hopefully it will. Okay. So then you have a couple other items on here as well. Am I correct? Yes. So in addition right. so to let's that. Deal with, let's deal with this one first. Absolutely. Okay. So it's North Common Stage, June 20th uh, from 4 to 6. 4 to 8. 4 to 8. 4 to 8. Okay. Although four to six should actually probably be good enough. Maybe we did say four to six. Okay. Either way is fine. Okay, let's go four to eight. Okay. All right. That's World Refugee Day, so hopefully it should be a no fee. All right, we have a around. Um, I'll make a motion. a motion to accept the date and time with no fee. For June twentieth. Okay. Right. Further discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? Motion carries. You're all set for that. Thank you very much. Okay, now let's see. You're looking for the soccer field on two different dates? Yes, um, on mm -hmm. June 26th and August 21st. Um, we're hoping to have two friendly uh, soccer tournaments between our um, constituencies. So the Bhutanese community, the Burmese community, the Arabic community will all bring teams. Um, or multiple teams, um, we'll just have some friendly games. Uh, again, with you know, only cold food, we wouldn't be cooking um, water, uh, looking towards late afternoon into the early evening for this, you know, because of the heat. Okay. Just a chance to build community and build bridges between the communities. Now, is there anybody out there during these dates, Shannon, that we have stationed there? Um, are those uh, weekdays? June 26th Saturday. and August 21st. The, uh, the, the good news, bad news is that the lacrosse team will probably not make the state tournament and won't be eating that field. Okay. So, John, th those fields are covered Monday through Friday. All right. There's no one there on the weekends. All right, so June 26th and 21st, uh, what dates, please? Saturdays. It's Saturday. All right. All right, so, there's, so they would have, in order to get some, you would have to have somebody cover them. Is that correct, Shannon? Correct, unless there was also uh, something somebody, else doing, somebody else running something else up there at the same time. Okay. And we're not aware of anything else running at this time? Okay. All right, so there would be a, a for those states there'd be a three a fee of three hundred and forty dollars for that per per day or total total is that for both days, Bianca? That's for both total, days. Total fee of three forty. Yes, Melinda. Okay, thank you. Okay. Questions, concerns. I make a motion to approve the request with a fee of three hundred and forty dollars. I'll second it. Okay. Further discussion. All in favor? Aye. All opposed? 
Motion carries. You're all set. Thank you very uh, much. Really uh, good, good luck with everything. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, Elizabeth Latour. Elizabeth Latore. Jeffrey Pomerantz. I see you. Good, good evening. Welcome. Thank you. Welcome. Um, I'm uh, just looking to request the uh, street hockey court um, and in Highland Park uh, on Saturday um, okay. from 12 to 4. Uh, it is a girls junior roller derby, uh, um, which I and is probably a little unusual. And uh, I realize this might be a little unusual in general because I'm actually not a Lowell resident. We do have um, a another one of our Derby parents is from Lowell, which is how we even know about the, the court in the first place. Okay. Um, so is this um, is this children or adults? Oh, uh, children, uh, junior Derby. It's uh, basically middle school, high school age skaters. What are we talking uh, and, 12, you know, 12 to 16? Uh, 12 to 17. Um, we've got a couple of, uh, of the older skaters, 17, 18, who have uh, agreed to do a little coaching, um, but they're, you know, they're on their way out. They're about to head off to college soon, so they're not, uh, not too heavily invested in, in the skating. How many participants do you expect, Jeff? Um, we've done a couple of these, and uh, it depends a little bit on weather and location, but Generally, we have about between six and twelve skaters and associated oh, okay. parents. All so right, it's pretty pretty small stuff. All right, I didn't know whether you had forty to fifty. So, oh goodness, no. Uh, okay, all right. Someday, maybe, but not yet. Okay, I mean, just running practice and teaching the girls different things. Exactly. Right? Yeah. Yeah. There's. You know, um, all right. Uh, this is how it all starts. I mean, the Board of Parks, we're like the uh, canary in the coal mine. We see these new sports coming in. Right. And, uh, you know, it's like, oh, we've never done this before, but it happens quite a bit. That's great. Yeah. And, you know, we, um, the funny thing here, I mean, I'm, I don't know how much background you actually really, you know, need to know here, but we used to have a practice space up in Lynn, but over the past year right we lost the lease on the place or i should say the the adult league lost the lease on the place right. as you know a lot of folks did right um so now of course we're looking for outdoor spaces and we found that street hockey courts are the best surface for this kind of skating i can remember watching on saturday afternoon <laughs> bay city bombers oh yeah so that's going back yeah. a while so got a little little <laughs> bit of age knowledge age. in that jeff <laughs> Ryan, yeah. does that does that affect anything that uh, you guys use? No, that we actually time? we have opening day on Saturday, so the baseball fields will be full. Uh, parking might be a little tight. They also have a, a cleanup planned at the basketball court right next door, so okay. there'll be a number of people cleaning up. They're they're doing a rededication of one of the signs there with um, a couple of the city council, um, you know prospects are, are going to be down there. So th there's definitely going to be some activity, which is going to be great because I think a bunch of people seeing roller derby would be pretty yeah. cool. So I'm, I'm one of them. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. No, that shouldn't, uh, that shouldn't be a, an issue for us at all. We'll just, you know, the parking, uh, we'll just, no worries. Exactly. Yeah. Awesome. Any other questions or concerns? John, I'd like to make a motion to approve the uh, the date uh, the dates requested uh, with no fee. Okay, I'll second it. All righty. Further discussion. All in favor? Okay. Aye. Aye. All opposed. Great, you're all set. Looking forward to it, Jeff. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you, folks. I really Are you appreciate. You're going to be it. out there on skates yourself. No, these kids can skate rings around me. No, I'll be helping to coach, but I'm not on skates. Nice. 
Oh, okay. So, all right. So, you don't need an ambulance right. nearby then. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully not. Have some fun. Well, thank, thank you very much. I really You're appreciate welcome. it. Okay. Denisa Mena? Denisa Mena? All right. Bridget Dowling. Hi Bridget. there. Welcome. Thank you. I'm principal of the Robinson Middle School. We are um, hoping to uh, get a permit to use Gage Field uh, during the school day on June 15th for we're hoping to be able to do a moving on ceremony for our eighth graders outside. Be nice to get outside. Good weather coming. Yeah. You don't need anything from us, Bridget? No, just if we could just use the field and um, it's, it will just be for a couple of hours in the morning. I, I put the school day just for setup and cleanup purposes, but. Well, I make a motion to approve the request, no fee. I'll second, second it. Okay. Further discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you Good very luck. much. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Okay. And. We just had a memo, somebody, we called them, but their mic wasn't working. Who was that, please? <sighs> Emily? Oh, it's Denisa Menya. Denisa Menya? Yeah. Okay, where are you? He's item 28. Yeah, she's, yeah, chatting. Know, just she's chatting, but I guess her mic doesn't work right now. Oh. All right. Um, I, did you unmute yourself, please? Oh, You're saying her mic's not working. The mic. All right. Um, so, John, she's chatting right now. Uh, right. She's in chat. All right. Log log out and log back in. Okay. Okay. She just said okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Let's move on. Jill Hawks. Jill Hawks, please. Jill Hawks? No, okay. Oh. Ilsa Rosario? Ilsa Rosario? Hmm. Melissa Phillips? Free. Hi there. Hi, welcome. Hi, thank you. You're welcome. I'm I sent in a reservation request for the regatta field to have a craft and vendor fair okay. on May 22nd. All right, eight to four? Um, eight to four, that includes the setup and takedown of everything. Okay. All right. Everyone brings their own tables. Some people have pop-up tents that they bring depending on the weather. And we've been doing these monthly in Nashua at an indoor hall, but we were looking for green space. And we nice. like being over there on the boulevard. Okay. So we have, um, we can have any, we have a list of about a hundred vendors and crafters. Wow. That we have, um, normally we usually have about 40 to 50 of them indoors. Mm -hmm. Selling everything from Tupperware to woodcrafts, tumblers, homemade items. And we've been, our people have been asking us for outdoor space for the spring, summer. Right. Did you charge a fee for each one of these participants? Do we charge Bring them a the fee? Table, yes. Yep. An entrance yep. fee? An entrance fee, yeah. Okay, all right. And we have a lot of the people have been doing all of our fears. We've been doing them since November, every mm -hmm. month. And it's worked out really well. Good. Um, one of the questions I had in regards to the fields is, would we need to have a rent a porta potty? So I don't think there's any restrooms over there. No, the closest thing is the Dunkin' Donuts there. Right. 
And then across the street is the Regatta Boathouse, and I'm not sure if those facilities would be open. Probably not. Um, so, so we would if you want in porta potties, you'd have to bring them in yourself. We right. not in, we don't get involved with rental law uh, transfer or use of any of that. Uh, right. We we've called in regards to renting one and having it picked up and um, dropped yeah. off and picked up and all. Yeah, I mean, you'd have to be responsible for that, Melissa. Mm-hmm. Otherwise, there's really nothing that we need. We bring in all of our own tables and chairs mm -hmm. um, set up. People come and go. They shop around at the different vendors. And everyone brings in what they bring out. Right, right. Okay. You, just, you just pray for a nice day, nice sunny day. Right. And that would be a question if we would have a rain date or if um, it rained out that day. Um, we would lose the deposits and, or if we could just schedule another day, if it was a rain out day. Right, I'm not sure, Bianca could probably answer this. I mean, how, how much is the demand there to move it to another date? Um, what day of the week is May 22nd? We usually have them on Saturdays or Sunday. This one is May 22nd. So if we had a thunderstorm on the 22nd, That's you know, sad. A Saturday, if the twenty third, if that would, if that date is open, maybe move it to that date. Or which day was it again? Saturday, May twenty second, is what we requested. Yep. And if it was a rain date, we could move it to Sunday. I can see um, who's there. There might be a permit already there. I can check. Okay. John. John yeah. Uh, the, the petitioner uh, expressed. Uh, concerned that she would lose her money. Right. If, if the city uh, determined that the field was not usable because of inclement weather, right. uh, you would you'd be due a, a refund. Right. Okay, you'll put it towards a different date. Yeah. Correct. Right. Yep. Thank, okay. Thank you. Um, we also, I was also going to go on and request the, I'm not sure what it's called, the pavilion across from the ice cream place there with the stage on the boulevard. Sampus Pavilion. Sampus Pavilion, yes. Yes. If that was available on June 19th. That one's uh, state owned. Yeah, oh, okay. That's not our jurisdiction, Melissa. Okay. Uh, okay. I wish it was, but it's not. All right. Regatta Field, um, we went by there today and there's plenty of room there. Yes, there it's is. a large <laughs> field. I remember the International Food Fest that used to be there. It's a long time ago. We've had carnivals there. We've had multiple things there. Um, we could probably find you an alternate date if you're okay. flexible to hold this. And that's the impression I'm getting from Bianca. So we can go ahead with the 22nd and just see what happens. Okay. And if Bianca can let, let us know on the 23rd. You're not 100% sure, is that correct? Right. Okay, and if, if it is open, we could probably just move to the next day. <laughs> Okay. I, I, that would be up to the board to approve that though. So. Okay. That, that's basically, that's, that's it. That's it, yeah. Looking for a motion, please. I make a motion to approve the date with a fee of $400. I'll second it. Okay. Further discussion? That sounds good to us. All right. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? All right. Motion carries. You're all set. And uh, depending on weather permitting, we can deal with that at the time. Okay. Great. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Tanya Olson, please. Tanya Olson. Hi. Hi. Welcome. Hi, so I'm actually her daughter, um, Alicia Olson. She's right here. Um, okay. So we are requesting for June 26th at the Fort Hill Park for um, a first birthday party. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, for 2 to, two to 6 p.m. I don't know. You're just looking for the green space there? Yeah, what's, I don't know what space that the green space is, like, because the, the park has two sides, but. Right. How many people are you bringing? Um, about, I said about 40 to 50. I'm not sure who's going to show up because of COVID. Right. 
what exactly do you plan on doing? Um, I just wanted to uh, celebrate her first birthday. So I wanted to, I don't know if we can grill. If not, I can bring food. Um, and then I just wanted to put a tent up and just celebrate her birthday. There'd be no drinking or anything. Okay. And grilling would be limited to charcoal. Propane is not allowed. Okay, so charcoal. Right. And set up a tent. And then, uh, yeah, and then my other question was, would I be able to set up a tent right. in case of rain? Shannon, is there a place that we would recommend that they could set that up over there that she could possibly meet with you? Uh, yeah, that's fine. Okay. How big yeah. of a tent are you thinking? Uh, I think it's a 10 by 20 wedding tent. Yeah, yeah that's not a problem. Not okay. a problem? Okay. And then um, that was those were my only questions, I think, right? Um, do you guys supply any tables or chairs? No, we do not. We're not okay. in that business any longer. <laughs> no, they already talked about that with somebody. We would have to do it ourselves. Oh, okay. No, no, we don't provide porta potties either. Okay. All right. So pretty much, I guess my question is just if we could um, get a permit for the 26th from two to six for a birthday party. Um, and would we be able to, if we rented a porta potty, would we be able to have a porta potty there? That would be fine. Shouldn't be an issue. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> questions or concerns? I don't have any questions. I don't know if anyone right. else. I'll make a motion to accept the. Sorry, what? Okay. I'll make the motion to accept the time and a date for a fee of fifty dollars. I'll second. For what? Fifty dollars. Yes. yes. $50. Okay. I just wanted to make sure I didn't miss it. All right. We had a second on that. I'll second it. Further discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Aye. Motion carries. You're all set. Thank, Thank you. you. Good luck. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Sarah Kahn's Dance Studio Hello. Show. Welcome. I'm here. There you are. Okay. Hi. Um, Thank you for your time. I'm here on behalf of Dancing Arts Academy, which is a dance studio based in Billerica. Okay. And I sent in a reservation request for the Shed Park Pavilion to have a small dance recital, about okay. 50 people or so, uh, for Saturday, May 8th. Okay. Um, and I sent it, the request in for, I think it was, it was 12 to 4. Okay. So you'd, you'd want a custodian. And now um, you're based out of Billerica. And now your students, where do they come from? Um, they're you? from the Lowell, Burlington, Billerica, uh, Tewksbury area. All right. So you're all, all around. Yeah. Okay. I was just looking to see. We have a resident fee and non-resident fee. Mm -hmm. so. We only have about 13 kids dancing, and then it's two staff members, the studio owner and myself, and okay. then about two parents per kid if we can get that. Oh, all right. Okay. Is this the first time you've uh, been at the pavilion, or did you do it last uh, two years ago? Um, no, we haven't done it. We usually do the show indoors, and then we weren't able to do it um, last year. Okay. This would be the first year, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We okay. have done, we've done the Sampas Pavilion show in the summer before for years. Oh, okay. John, I make a motion to approve the request on May the 8th uh, for that fee of $320. I'll second it. For the discussion. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All, all opposed? Motion carries. You're all set. Thank you so and much. Just follow up with Bianca if uh, any necessary things you may need. Okay, thank you so much. Have a nice You're day. welcome. Okay. Timothy Daly. Timothy Daly. Hi, I'm here. Hi, right, welcome. Welcome. Um, I'm on behalf of Wolfpack Football. It's a um, Northeast organization. We're not really a town-based organization, but honestly, most of our kids come from Lowell. As um, myself and a few of the other staff members are from Lowell, 
Um, we were looking to use the Rogata field on Wednesdays for practice. And we have our games in Dorchester, as that was one of the fields that we were told that we could have large sums of teams meet type thing, you know, going by mass guidelines. Uh, we're more looking to use it uh, for the next two months. So. You're just looking at to, to have practices, is that correct? Yeah, it's small teams. There's only four of them, um, about two coaches a team, and there's about 10 kids per What's team. What's the age group, please? Um, 8U, which is like seven, so it's about seven-year-olds through like 16, okay. like early high school, you know. It's uh, seven on seven, so it's sort of like flag. Uh, we don't normally charge our kids. Um, the only thing they really got to pay for is the uniform and the fee from the league. And everything is run through Zorts. I don't know if you guys are familiar with that. It's a uh, kind of seven-on-seven seven flag football app. And it, everything will be pretty much run through that. Okay. So how long has your organization been organized and set up? Um, I've been going since about fall. We were using the Tingsboro Sports Center, but we're kind of looking for a cheaper option. And it's getting, you know, nice out. So we want to get the kids outside instead of indoors. Because um, we were there um, over winter and in fall, kind of doing like training camps and stuff that follow the protocols for, uh, you know, the mask guidelines, you know, face mask. Um, we have a temperature thing that, you know, read the temperatures of the kids before they practice making sure they got no signs prior. A lot of things to do. So obviously you have insurance as well, sir? Yes. Okay. All right. Anyone else have any questions or concerns? Yeah, quick question, John. It says it's a, uh, looks like we're charging an adult fee, but it's a youth league, correct? Yes, it's a youth organization. So normally with a uh, youth, um, and you said the majority of the kids are low. Yeah. Uh, I'll make a motion to approve the dates and time requested with no fee. I second okay. it. All right. Further discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? Motion carries. You're all set, sir. All right. Thank you. Good luck. Of course. Okay. Number 37. We're getting there. All right. Tristan. Tristan Harrington. Tristan, you're hanging around there somewhere. Oh, cold. Okay. Number 38, Mayon Mitchell. Mr. Mitchell. Hello, guys. Uh, um, I, my name is Mayon Mitchell. I'm here, but I'm actually traveling today, so I have my um, counterpart, Darren Wilson, who's going to speak for me on my behalf. That's okay? That's fine, Mayon. Perfect. Thank you. You're welcome, sir. All right. So as you said, this is Darren Wilson. Thanks for having me on. Okay. Welcome. Okay. What can we do for you, Darren? So we have the, so the, well, there's two things um, that we would like to speak about. One is the, the kids league permit that we put in for July 10th to August 14th, okay. Saturday mornings. Mm-hmm. From Des at Desmond uh, Field. All right. Eight to twelve. All right. And then the other. But we'll thing deal with that one. We'll deal with that one first, if it's okay with you. So we we'll keep yep, it separate. That's no problem. Thank you, sir. Okay. All right. So what are we doing with the kids? Again, this is the. It's the our. Um, yeah, it's our youth summer league that we run every summer um, through the. NFL flag football program. Um, it's a sports league we've been running for the past six years, ages five to 17. And it's just a yeah, sports league that we run. Okay. One of the uh, reasons we're requesting Desmond Field this year is because we were informed by um, the Low High Athletic Director that Cauley Stadium it's not available due to the track being redid. I'm not sure if you guys are aware of that. Um, right now, College Stadium is like, it's all blocked off and mm -hmm. on reserve for Lowell High School. Usually we, we speak with Lowell High to get it 
um, you know, get it released to us. Right, I remember you know, that in the past, that's what we usually get. Yeah, so we uh, so he had informed us that the track was going to be redid. So uh, this year we we're going to run our league on the grass field instead of the okay. turf. All right, and that's okay with you. Yeah, well, it's the next best thing available. So definitely right. it's fine with us. Okay. Shannon, are there any other restrictions out there on the field that we're aware of that we should be aware of? No, it's just the uh, when they're redoing the track. That's the only reason that field shut down. Okay. All right. And how long do they expect to be doing the track? Uh, hopefully, it's going from June fifteenth to July fifteenth, but they're not really sure. So All right. We're hoping it's just a one month process. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So that's youth. So we had an adult fee. So that should not. Bye. I'm sorry, I was going to speak. Um, if I may add, there were some dates in June we wanted to add to our permit, but there were it was also blocked off like the whole month of June. On, on yeah. Saturdays, June 12th, June 19th, and June 26th. Yeah, they're blocked off. Let's just stick with that and feel that that works for you, sir. Okay, oh, yes, yes. looking. No, I'm sorry, uh, Peter, go ahead. Desmond. Peter? Yeah, I, I would expect that the high school is still out there, at least for the first day, June the 12th. Uh, track would be out there. Oh, okay. I, I, I can't say, you know, the 26th or later, than that, but uh, June the 12th, they should be out there. Okay. Yeah, because typically uh, we run our league for about eight, like nine to eight weeks. Mm -hmm. uh, but since we're starting in July right now, we only have six days uh, booked. So we're hoping to get some additional days. But if, uh, if it's because of lower highs there, that's fine, I guess. Okay. Yeah, because of the pandemic, they, they didn't even start till this week. So their seasons are late. Right, right. Okay. Right. I understand. Okay, we'll entertain a motion for uh, dates requested on Desmond Field. I make a motion to approve the dates as requested. No fee, considering the youth. Is that correct? Still need a custodian fee because it's Saturday. Well, should be a seven twenty fee for a custodian for a Saturday. Oh, yeah, that's right. Desmond Field is out there. Um, um, for the dates, though, I know uh, high school lacrosse is out there on Saturdays. Probably not. I actually just lost my agenda. I'm looking for it here. All right. I think I think it's because it's July. I don't think high school's. Oh, working. July. Oh, never mind. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Shannon, is that a time where you're normally staffed? Do we have to charge a custodial fee? Yeah. If the high school's not in, we're not normally staffed. Yeah, they they're gone by July. So we um. So what what did you say the fee was? Minus at seven twenty minus the permit fee. Does that sound right, John? Yeah, it was 1,020 here. And so the how many days? It would be 720, six times 120. Six times 120, 720 total. Okay, that's the custodial fee. Six days times 120. All right, $720. Okay. And just to be sure, in the, in the past, did we charge that amount or we didn't because the high school was in operation? Yeah, we've always been charged the custodial fee. Okay. All right. All right. That Carly, yeah. We want to be consistent. We want and to then, give you a break while we can as well, but we <laughs> have to be consistent. Right. I understand. I appreciate that. Uh, we okay. did want to put a request to see if we can get that field lined at 10 yard increments. I know the turf, the marks are already there, but the grass field, the lines need to be painted on. Okay. Let's see if we can get that accomplished. Thank you. Uh, just add it to another thing to add to Shannon's list. That's all. <laughs> another reason for him to be mad at me. Uh, <laughs> okay, so um, further discussion. We have the dates with a fee of 720 on the table. I make a motion to approve the request. I'll second it. All in favor? Aye. Aye. 
All opposed? Motion carries. All right, you're all set on that. Okay. You had you, two items, sir. Is that correct? Yes. Um, was? So for June 6th, um, back in January, we put in a request for Gage Park um, because Regatta Field was unavailable. So we put in a request for um, Gage for the, you know, for the alternative field. Okay. And it was rejected and kicked back to us because we had a past invoice from last year from all the permits we put in, but they were all canceled due to COVID. However, the invoices still stayed in the system. Okay. So our June 6 request was canceled. Um, Mayon followed up um, with the Parks and Rec to get us added back on to the agenda for that day right. to see if we can get that filled. Um, however, it looks like it was never added to the agenda. And now looking at the system, it looks like that field is taken and was assigned to someone else. All right. So what is your request? We was hoping that we can get Gage failed since we sent our request back in June and uh, that past invoice should uh, we should have never been in a pass through balance because we wasn't allowed to play. And then it was subsequently uh, given to somebody else. Do we know who correct. that was speaking to? I don't know uh, off the top of my head, but I can check. All right, so that's something we're going to have to check into. Um, John? Yes, Peter. For the chair, uh, first off, um, I would um, will make a motion to uh, um, credit that outfit uh, for all their 2020 fees since they never used it, so we can at least get that off the books. Okay. We I believe that has been cleared up. Sorry, sorry to interrupt. Okay, it has been cleared up. It is, yep. The second part is since June the 6th, if as presented, it was our era, not mm -hmm. ours, the city's, um, is it possible that this uh, board would uh, find a way to put them on like Desmond Field at a particular time? I would tend to agree we have to try to make it good on if it's our mistake and to put them on a field. Now, again, the high available. school may be there. Right. Can we look into find what might be available to suit their needs? Right. Uh, yeah, so we would need two fields. I uh, just want to bring that up. But we did have some alternative fields if we're not able to get on gauge in mind. And what were those, please? Uh, the South Common Field and also the Bartlett Middle School. I'm not, I'm not sure the name of the field, that the exact name, but it's the field located behind the Bartlett Middle School. Yeah, it's it's in a couple of names. I'm not exactly sure which the field. Is. I think the field's called Cumin Zellis Field. The whole yeah, I know it's. Yeah, I know it was Cumin Zellis for the longest time. I don't it's know. Like Kiki Rudy, you know, softball field or whatever. So yeah, it's been a couple of things. So, I mean, I have no problem if one of those uh, fields is available of, of allowing them on that date with no fee. Um, it's just a matter of, of checking that out. And hopefully those are less commonly used fields. So I think that using them as backup probably would make sense. Yeah. 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 Whatever is most convenient, if it's available, we can uh, have Bianca issue that field to them. That be acceptable to the rest of the board. That is, it's fine by me. Yep, fine by me. Yep. Okay. All right. So we can proceed with that. I don't think we need a motion for that. So, um, is that agreeable with you, sir? Uh, yes. Well, yeah. If Gage is not available for the June sixth, um, yeah, the alternative fields are fine. Yeah. Yeah, if somebody else is on there, it's we just can't throw them off. So it's uh, so we're trying to do the next best thing for you, sir. Okay. okay. All right. Yeah. All right. Do, do we want to make that official? If you want to make a motion, Peter, sure. Make a motion to uh, approve. Uh, we'll call it Kumazellas Field. Uh, I don't, again, the, the one behind the Barlett School. 
for June the 6th uh, with no fee. I'll second it. Further discussion? Well, in self comment too. In self comment. Self comment left open. In self comment. Okay. Good. All right, so let me rephrase it. Uh, make a motion to approve June the 6th for both Kumazellas Field or the field behind the Bartlett and South Common with no fee. Yes, second. second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Motion carries. You're all set, sir. Thank you. Thank you so all much. Right. Thank you so right. much, thank everyone. You. And um, Shannon, I did want to chime in and thank you so much for. Um, doing what you do for the city and fixing those lights. We appreciate your, your efforts on that. I appreciate that. Okay, thanks guys. All right, thanks, Mayo. All right. Yeah, have a good night. All right, good night, Al. All right, thank you. Let's move right along. Let's see. Real Betty, Real Betty, please. Roberta Angostino. Roberta Angostino, please. She's here. She's yes, I, I know she's driving at this moment. My name is Malik Marrero. I work together with Roberta Agostino. We okay. are from, from we are from Wayside. Thank you for having us tonight. We um we are the facilitator for the parent support group on the Department of Mental Health. Uh, the month of May is the Mental Health Month, and the Department of Mental Health want to have a small celebration for 25 parents. And we would like to request the Gasiwa, the chef part for May 27, uh, from 10.30 to 2.30. We wanted to host 25 parents to give them lunch and have some present for them on the, for um, celebrating Mental Health uh, Month for oh. them. Uh, through the chair, uh, sir, you, you, you've listened to us for two hours now. Thank you. Uh, so you understand there's a fee involved? Yes, yes, okay. we do. I make a motion to approve the request for the four-hour four hour block fee of 170. Thank you. Second it. Further discussion? Seeing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Motion carries. You're all set, sir. Thank you very much. Have a good, Have a good night. night. Okay. All right. Sky Cabeza. Sky Cabeza, please. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome. Hi, I'd like I put in the reservation to reserve the Shed Park Pavilion for a baby shower. Okay. May for May 21st? Yes, two to six. Okay. And that'd be a fee of 170. Yep, and that's with the bathroom included, right? Yes, that would be. Okay, included. just making sure. And you've been listening all along too. Do you have any other requests or things that you would uh, make? No, the, most of them asked what I needed to. Okay, all right. I appreciate that, thank you. Yep. I make a motion to approve the request with a fee of 170. I'll second it. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? You're all set, Sky. Thank you. Have a great night, guys. Thank yes, you. Thank you. Kiani Ramirez. Kiani Ramirez, please. Hi. Welcome. Thank you for having me. Um, so uh, this is my son, Kylo. He's the reason why we're here today. OK. I, um, I tried to you know, stay as long as I can without him, like his someone watching him, but yeah, they had to give him back to me. Um, so um, I was looking to see if we can get the pavilion at Shed Park for the dates of uh, July 24th, um, okay. three to seven for his first birthday. Okay. It is a fee of $170. Okay. Okay. And do you have any questions or have you heard everything, everybody else? 
Uh, I think I pretty much heard um, everything. Do you know if um, the splash pad will be open? July 24th, Probably hopefully not. it would be. Hopefully. Shannon, <laughs> have you expected date on the splash pad to be open? It will be open then. I, I believe it closes at six, but it will be open at three. Okay, I just wasn't sure because okay. of COVID, but I just wanted to right. make sure. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, I make a motion to approve the request as stated, uh, fee of 170. I'll second it. All in favor? Uh, all opposed? Motion carries. You're all set. Thank you. Thank you. <sighs> Crystal Kirkett, Girl Scout event. Welcome. Hi. Welcome. Hi, thank you. I'm also joined by uh, Lowell Girl Scout Service Coordinator Brandy. Uh, she's our head volunteer out there and oversees uh, the amazing efforts of Girl Scouts in Lowell. Um, I'm actually from Belrica, so I'm a close neighbor. Okay. But we would like to use the Collie Stadium parking lot for a drive through event on May 29th from 10 to 2. Uh, if you can envision a parade that you drive through instead of walking past you, it would be something similar to that. We would have volunteers with girls uh, properly distanced, uh, similar to something like a trunk or treat. They would decorate their vehicles. Um, we would uh, post to have people come drive through and get more information and just kind of welcome and wave and do what Girl Scouts do. So run me through exactly what the Taz are doing again, please. So basically um, we would want to do something where instead of having uh, tables that people would walk up to, uh, we would have them, it would be similar to the drive through cookie booth that we did earlier in the year where cars oh. would drive through and then get information and then we would have any uh, willing volunteers, they could come and decorate their cars if they'd like to. We'd have everyone properly spaced with enough distance that people could go very slowly through. Uh, and then they would just get information about Girl Scouts and then we would offer um, some activities and things like that. We're, we're trying to, as you said earlier, think outside the box to be able to involve the community more. Okay. Most important question. Are you going to be having Girl Scout cookies available? So the season's over, but I can probably find you some. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> thank you. It's not a requirement, but thank you. John, to the chair. Um, yeah. Where exactly at the Collie Stadium parking lot uh, do you envision this happening? So I took, uh, I took a drive by and I did a quick look on Google Maps and it looks like having cars come off and on to Douglas would probably be the easiest. And that way we would, they would be coming out of traffic and we okay. wouldn't be holding up anything. So the Douglas road entrance and exit um, with the understanding that people could still, will cut through there to, to go, you know, through the stadium. Yeah. You're not using the whole, whole parking lot. No, we would probably, ideally, um, from the entrance off of Douglas, we would set up a couple of feet past that, so that way people who are coming in, we wouldn't impede their access to the parking lot and the stadium. And yeah. then um, we would have, it's going to be something where we would be uh, giving out the address for people to come see us. So ideally, with the being right there and being able to be seen, we wouldn't really need to worry about impeding other people from getting into the stadium. Okay. I just want to let you be aware that is a safety issue. Thank you, yeah. Peter. Shannon, okay. does that, Shannon, would that be a, an issue with uh, PPW setting up cones or anything? Uh, no, I don't see an issue there. Okay. Thank you, Shannon. We need, a, we need a request. I make a motion to approve the request. No fee. I'll second it. Thank you. Further discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Motion carries. You're all set, girls. Thank, thank you. you. Thank so you for much. your service to the girls. Thank you. Well. Oh, thank you. Have a good evening. Thank you. Okay, John. We've got a few other people that we got to get to. Yes, Peter. Who did uh, I miss? Denise, no, uh, Denisa appears to be on, uh, okay. and Bob Belanger, number uh, two on the agenda, appears to be on. Okay, what number is Denisa? <laughs> She was towards the end. She was the one who her mic wasn't working. 
Go. Okay. So I'm also here from the senior center, number three. Sorry for my delay, folks. You want to take care of number two and number three? So okay, two and three, and then twenty-eight. Okay, so we got to take care of Bob so you can enjoy a cigar. Twenty-eight. Okay, Mr. Belanger, welcome. Oh, yes, hello. Hi. How are you? Pretty good, considering good. a little long meeting, but not bad. It's interesting. <laughs> it is. Okay. Relatively passive tonight, so that's nice. I know. Uh, okay, so what can we do for you? I'm looking to get the permit for the concession stand at Finfield. Okay. I was on last month but um, I thought I was on for the St. Michael's Field Day and then I had logged off and then uh, I got the email from Bianca saying that I missed the hearing. So I came uh, back tonight. Okay. Yeah, we have you um, 1,110 blocks, uh, uh, $25 <laughs> per block. So we get a fee of $27,750 this month. Last month, All right, there, no, it would have been no fee last month. <laughs> <laughs> right. you are servicing the youth correct oh yes we are every right. day we can, we can adjust that fee down to zero i would hope john All right. I'm make a motion to approve the request for the concession stand no fee i'll second it for the discussion you need anything else bob no i'm good thank you sir all right all in favor aye, aye. All opposed motion carries thank you Thank you, sir. Have a great day. All right. All right, bye-bye. Okay, number three. Lillian Hi. Hartman. Hi, thank you all for having me and I apologize for coming in late. It's okay. Um, we, uh, oh. last, last month we got um, reservations for our aerobics class led by Marion Silk at Calorie Park and Shed Park. And okay. um, we're gonna to try to add a Spanish um, aerobics class like dance aerobics, um, also at Calorie Park once a week. And this one would be free um, with seniors needing to sign up through the senior center so we can do the, keep the head count safe for COVID. Okay. And it would be Thursday mornings. Um, I'm only gonna advertise it for now, uh, May, June, July. And then I've asked for reservation through October. If it picks up with people actually coming, I'll mm -hmm. keep it. And if it if it doesn't go, we'll we'll cancel the reservation after July. But I hope it'll go. I hope it goes well for you as well. Okay. Any questions or concerns? No, I'll make a motion to accept the time and date. No fee. Second it. Further discussion. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Motion carries. You're all set. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you all very much. Have a good night. All right. Okay, we're down to Denisa. Welcome. Hi. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Drive-by baby shower. Yes, I wanted to request the Fort Hill green space just to do a little decoration for a drive-by baby shower. Okay. Were you um, planning on using the little gazebo? Um, yes, we would like to use that in there just to put like um, a chair for uh, my sister-in-law um, who doesn't know that I'm planning this baby shower for her. Okay, we won't tell her. All right. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you might be, she might be watching LTC. <laughs> She's not watching right now. <laughs> oh. <laughs> hey, I have I make a motion to approve the request with no fee. I'll second it. Any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Motion carries. You're all set, Denisa. Thank you so much. Have a good evening. Yes. Thank you. Okay. We have a few people that did not show up. You got it. You got my thing on 20 there. Yeah. I I'm not an AU organization, by the way. Of that. Okay, so we can move to that now. All right, number 20. Ryan, what are we doing, buddy? Well, apparently I'm uh, 
in charge of youth softball now too, because you know why not? So this is this is for our youth softball. We're using you know when I had requested for Highlands, I requested it for all the ones over the Highland side. But this is primarily for for PYO and for Shed and for us a little bit as well. Okay. And I was trying to coordinate times for the junior spinners to put in a permit because a lot of times organizations just try to jump on. So they attempted to do the right thing. Obviously, neither he or I were aware of what had happened beforehand. So I'm sure that's not the last we hear of it, but um, that's neither here nor there. This is right. you, well, you softball and we're just looking for these times. Okay. Yeah, I know we have talked about the spinners trying to do the right thing. And um, unfortunately that organization the communication skills amongst it not very good at this time so hopefully yeah we'll yeah i mean i've we've both gotten conflicting info about things so we can we can take that discussion offline yeah okay that's fine okay so Your motion. Ryan, Ryan uh you, you now branched out uh to mcpherson field well that's pyo has usually used to permit it under them under their organization um I actually, now my daughter actually plays with PYO, so I'm a PYO coach running the Highlands. <laughs> How'd that happen? <laughs> That's how it works. Well, you know, kids. Um, yeah. So in, in the past, Gil used to just blanket permit everything, and we made him split that up, obviously, last year. So now what we had agreed on is that every park would request their own permits for their own softball field, which is why I requested Conroy and Lincoln and Ventura. Um, you know, I think that Matt and the folks over PYO were originally going to request this, but um, since I'm sort of kind of stepping in to take over a lot of softball, I just put the request in um, under myself, you know, for PYO's use, for Highland's use, for Shed's use, but it's for just for Lowell use softball. We're all kind of one organization. Okay. John, I make a motion to approve the request with no fee. Second it. Further discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? All right, motion carries. Thanks, guys. All right. Shannon, is there anything that we should be aware of of developments going on in the in the city? Uh, some of the field restrictions? Just uh, an FYI. No, Ryan Field still, we're, we're assuming uh, July 1st. I still haven't gotten any updates on that. And uh, like I said, with the Collie track, we're assuming uh, June 15th to July 15th at that time. Any other any other issues any board members may be aware of? No. Okay. Thank you, everybody. It was a long agenda tonight, and uh, thanks for everybody's patience and understanding. Thank you. Make a motion to adjourn. I'll second it. So moved. All right. Have a good night, guys. All right. Good night, all.